Have you ever wondered why fear has such a powerful grip on us, even when there's no immediate threat to our safety? Welcome to the intriguing world of fear, an emotion that is as ancient as life itself. Fear is our body's primal response to perceived threats. It is our internal alarm system, alerting us to potential dangers, readying us for fight or flight. However, not all fears are created equal. Some fears are based on real, immediate threats. A snarling dog, a speeding car, a looming deadline. But often, the fears that grip us most tightly are not based on the here and now. They are shadows cast by past experiences or uncertainties about what the future might hold. These fears, while they may feel overwhelming, are not grounded in reality. They are phantoms, specters of past pain or future worries. Fear, in essence, is a ghost of our past haunting our present and future. So, if our fears are often not based on present dangers, where do they come from? The answer lies in our past. Our past is a treasure trove of experiences, both good and bad. The past is where our brains learn to respond to threats and dangers. When we encounter something that our brain perceives as dangerous, it triggers a fear response that was learned from past experiences. This is especially true for traumatic experiences. Imagine you're a child and you touch a hot stove for the first time. The intense pain teaches you to fear the stove when it's hot. Even after you've grown up and understand that the stove isn't always a threat, the fear remains. This is because your brain has wired itself to respond with fear to avoid potential harm. This fear response isn't just limited to personal experiences. Our societal and cultural environments also play a significant role in shaping our fears. For instance, the media often highlights stories of violence, which can create fear and anxiety about becoming a victim. This fear persists even when the actual risk is minimal or non-existent. And here's the kicker. These learned fears can lead to anxiety and other fear-based disorders, affecting our present and future lives. They can make us avoid situations or activities that we perceive as dangerous, even if they aren't. Our past experiences and environments shape our fears, chaining us to events and circumstances that no longer exist. Fear, while rooted in the past, has a profound impact on our present and future. But how does this happen? Well, let's dive into it. Fear is a powerful force. It can influence our decisions, limit our actions, and even prevent us from taking risks or pursuing opportunities. It's like an invisible chain holding us back, making us second-guess every step we take, every decision we make. It's not just about being afraid of spiders or heights. It's about the fear of failure, the fear of rejection, the fear of the unknown. These fears can stifle our potential, keeping us from reaching our true heights. But the effects of fear are not just psychological. Chronic fear can have serious physical impacts as well. It can lead to stress, insomnia, and over time, even physical health problems. The body's response to fear, the fight or flight response, is not meant to be a constant state of being. It's a survival mechanism designed for short bursts in response to immediate threats. But when our minds are constantly plagued by fear, our bodies can't tell the difference. The adrenaline keeps pumping, the heart keeps racing, and over time, this can take a toll on our health. Fear, when not based on real and present threats, can become a cruel jailer, trapping us in a cycle of worry and inaction. So we're haunted by fears rooted in the past, affecting our present and future, but must we remain its victims? Let's consider this. The power of fear stems from its ability to persuade us that the past will inevitably repeat itself. Yet this is not an immutable law of nature. The past is a collection of moments that have come and gone, not a blueprint for our future. Understanding this is key to overcoming fear. By recognizing the roots of our fears, we can begin to unpick the ties that bind us to past experiences. This process can be difficult, and seeking professional help may be necessary. But the reward is a life lived more fully in the present. A life where we make decisions not based on fear, but on our current reality. A life where the past informs, but does not dictate. By understanding and confronting our fears, we can break free from the chains of the past and open the door to a more fearless future.